Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. We are going to draw an interesting question from perspective projection. The question says, this is square prism, 20 mm side of base, 35 mm height, standing on the ground, standing on the ground, one side of base parallel to PP and 15 mm behind PP. On top is a frustrum of a square pyramid, frustrum of a square pyramid, 20 millimeter side and 10 millimeter top with a height of 15 millimeters. The height of the prism part is 35, the height of the frustrum of pyramid part is 15, 15. So total height is 35 plus 15, 15, 50. The question says, the object has got a square part, 20 mm square, square prism, 35 mm height and on top it tapers to, tapers to a frustrum of a square pyramid, 20 mm side of base and 10 mm side of top through a height of 15 mm. So when you look from the top, it is a square with another square inside, 20 square, inside that 20 square a 10 mm square. It is drawn 15 mm behind the picture plane. So draw the picture plane PP first. Draw the 20 square. Draw the 10 square inside that. It is drawn 15 mm behind the PP. Then the station point is 70 mm in front of PP. 70, 70 mm in front of PP. And the I is 20 mm to the left of the side which is parallel to PP. So from this corner measure 20 mm and draw a vertical line. This is the central plane on which you have got SP 70 mm in front. Then below SP preferably draw HL and 60 mm below HL draw GL because the height of the observer is given us 60 mm. I repeat draw picture plane draw the 20 mm square 15 mm behind picture plane then draw the 10 mm square inside that draw this slant edges of the first term of the pyramid that's the plan of the object A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Then 20 mm away from this edge or from this corner, 20 mm away, draw a vertical line, the central plane. On that 70 mm in front of PP, locate SP. Then draw HL. 60 mm below HL, draw GL. Agreed? Now, since the side is parallel to PP, one side is parallel to PP, visual draw method will be easier. Visual draw method we will go. Drop SP down to get SP dash, the elevation of SP. Then project this vertically down and draw the elevation of the combined object. 35 mm height, 15 mm height, 10 mm square, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, A, B, C, D, a dash B dash C dash D dash E dash F dash G dash H dash I dash J dash K dash L dash elevation of the objects combined object. Now join all points of the plan to SP. You have got all lines, very light lines. Join all points of the elevation to SP dash. Horizontal line, I mean lines connecting them to SP dash. Now this is a connected to SP. This can be dropped to A dash SP dash. What do you get? You get capital A. I will start from this side for clarity. I will drop all the lines and then I will start connecting them. I will drop all those lines first. They are inclined. Okay. I will make it better.
Now let's look at the points. B. This dropping cuts B dash SP dash at capital B. A. Which is a. This is A. C. C, D, D, E, same projector, E, F, F, G, 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 H, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, then I, I J K I, J, K, L. Okay, we have marked all the points. We have marked all the points. Now we have to connect them. We have to connect them. I, J, K, L, I will connect. I, J, K, L. This is how it will look like A, B, C, D A, B, C, D E, F, G, H I, J, K, L Agree? This Height of the observer is 60 and the height of the box is 50. So there is only a 5 tandem of gap there so that the top square IJKL, IJKL will be very small, compressed. Okay, this AB has to be parallel to GL and this EF has to be parallel to GL, this IJ has to be parallel to GL, this DC has to be parallel to GL, this GH has to be parallel to GL and this K 
KL also has to be parallel to GL. Since I am not following exact dimensions, they do not appear to be parallel. That is called the condition for parallel perspectives. Lines that are parallel to PP and parallel to GL ground. I repeat, lines that are parallel to PP and parallel to the ground will be parallel to GL in the perspective. That is called the condition for parallel perspectives. So by applying that condition, once you get the A, you can draw a horizontal line and locate, ensure that B is in straight line, parallel line, line parallel to GL. A small error, if at all it comes due to the projection of vertical lines, you may have to correct it so that it looks truly well, truly good. Okay, so AB, CD, EF, GH, IJ and KL are parallel to GL. In my drawing, they are slightly inclined. So that is because my projectors are not correct. I should have drawn them with more care. Since they are not following dimensions, it can happen. So this is a reasonably good problem. Only thing you have to remember is, this elevation when you draw must be drawn very light. If it is dark now, it will mix up with the perspective and so it will be very difficult for a student to identify the points of the perspective. The elevation which you draw initially must be very light. I hope you understand. It's a very simple question. But take some time. It is a box-like thing. Box-like thing with a frustum-like thing drawn on top. If you have got any confusion about the terminology, etc., what is used in this case, please see perspective projection introduction. The first video of perspective projection. That will give you the idea about this HLGLPP and all those things. It's a very important video. Please see perspective projection one, which gives you the basic introduction. I hope you understand. Thank you. If you are impressed with the channel, please subscribe my channel, like it and share it among your friends. Okay. Thank you once again.